Well, hello everyone. Welcome to the 14th iOS tutorial. In this tutorial, we will talk about the other way that we can talk to the controller. If you remember from tutorial number 12, the way that we can talk to the controller was IB action. This time, we will talk about the delegate. And also, we will introduce UI text field delegate and then some miscellaneous subject which is dismissing the keyboard because it relates to the application that I'm going to talk so I decide to add it here and as I said in tutorial number 12 we talk about the IB outlet and IB action and we said that if the controller wants to talk to the view it is IB outlet and if the view wants to talk to the controller it is IB action there is another way that we can talk the view can talk to the controller and it's delegate and as you can see, we have some methods in for delegates that inform the controller that something happened. For example, if the user rotates the device, the view wants to talk to the controller and says, okay, I did rotate, so what should I do? What should I do the, to, to the layout of the view? Another example could be UI textful delegate. Uh, I want to know when the user starts typing or when they finish editing. So these are the things that delegate can, in can inform the controller. Let's jump into the code, then it will make more sense. Remember from previous tutorial, we designed a tip calculator that by specifying some amount, it will calculate the tip and also a total bill. There are some problems with this design because first of all, if you tap on this text field, you will see the letters. But what we want is just showing the numbers. And also, um, this return key is not hooked up with the calculate. We want whatever calculate does, return does the same thing. And the worst part is keyboard because you cannot dismiss once you bring it up. So let's fix these problems. Okay, let's start with the easy parts. In order to fix the problem that when the user taps on the text field, it should bring up the number keyboard, not the uh, letters, you have to tap on the text field and then go to the attribute inspector here. And you can find this keyboard with drop down. And if you click on this drop down menu, you will see a different keyboard. And what we need here is numbers and punctuations. Let's click on here and run the program. As you can see, if I tap here, it will show me the keyboard with numbers and punctuation. The next thing that we want to do is hooking up the return key. We want the return key whatever calculate does. So let's write some code for this. This is the previous tutorial application uh, tip calculator. I didn't change anything. This is the view controller the damn file. In order to hook the return key to calculate button, we need to define a delegate, UI text field delegate. How we can use delegate methods? There are three steps that we have to follow in order to define a delegate and use it. Here are the three methods. First, declare the delegate. Second, put the delegate equal to self. And last part, use the delegate method. So let's declare the delegate. You can declare the delegate method either in .h file or .m file. If you want to declare it in .m file, you have to specify it in front of the these two parentheses in front of the interface by opening or greater call and say UI text fill delegate and close it. This is for .m file. You have the same thing for .h file. If you want to define it in that H file, you would say UI text will delegate and close the angle bracket. So since we defined it in that M file, we just use that one. This is for define, declare. So we delete it. We have to put self delegate equals to self. So how do we do it? Where is the best place to do it? Most of the time, in view did load, we put delegate equal to self. So let's define view did load. By now, you should know what is view did load. 
if you forgot you can go to the lifecycle tutorial and see what is viewed it load this is one of the lifecycle methods first of all of course you have to say super view did load and then here's the place after that we can put the delegate equals to self let's have some more space here we should put the text field delegate so we should call this total self dot total field dot delegate equals to self so this is the second step now we have the third step use the delegate methods what are the delegate methods how we should how we can know what method that we can use if you go to the UI text file delegate and hold down the command key if you hover it you will see the underline if you click on it it will bring you to the protocol which is which shows you all of the available methods underneath the optional you can see all of these methods from optional to the end we have all of these available methods what we want is the return text field should return and text field so let's use this one but we won't copy paste it if we go back and go to the end of the class and say bool we just remembered the add it returns bool and say text field as soon as I start typing it will suggest me some delegate methods actually all of them so these are the ones that we just saw on that class the one that we want is text field should return and text field so open and curly bar. okay let's at first think what how this method can help us what is it doing actually it means that when the user press the return key this is the method that is been called so whatever we want to happen when they press the calculate button we have to in put it inside of here as well so what is inside of the calculate press it just update the result so we just copy this line and put it here and because it needs it needs some return value we should put return and yes because we want to return the key to work so if I run the program and say okay 12 and instead of calculate this time I pressed return and this time it works so it's good but right now see the keyboard is still on the screen I cannot dismiss it let's fix this issue as well go back here and we say by the, just one line of code here we want to the keyboard to be dismissed and what is the best place when they calculate when they press calculate or when they press the return key and what is the code for this at first you have to call your text field which here is total text field or total field and then say resign first responder so this is true for every text field if you want to dismiss any kind of keyboard you can use this line of code resign first responder so let's test it we put it just when they press the return key let's calculate 230 if you press calculate it will not dismiss but if we press uh, it's different amount if we press return it will dismiss the keyboard so what we can do for calculate we have to put this line of code on calculate as well so we come here and press calculate and resign the first responder and then run the code again three four something and then press calculate it will dismiss it in order to avoid duplication we can just delete this one and also delete this one as well and put it inside of the updating the code so here when 
this method is called, so this is part of this method. So you don't duplicate. And that's all. Delegate methods are really important part of Objective C. These are some built-in delegates. And later on in this course, I will show you how to define your own delegate methods. If you are coming from Java and you know Java, delegates are more like interface in Java. Since delegate is one of the important part of the Objective C, we will have more tutorials about delegates and how we write our own delegate methods. So keep in touch. If you have any questions, put it underneath of this video or visit us at hoxtech.blogspot.com.